let's give it one more try. So I want to go over this video here by Derek Smith. And of course, if you remember this fella, he's big on the millennial reign of Christ, which is not found in the Bible anywhere at all. Not Revelation 20, not anywhere. Jesus Christ reigns forever. And of his kingdom, there is no end. But let's listen to what he says. This is where some will say, well, Jesus is my king now. And I agree with you, except if the kingdom of God is now, then the kingdom of God sucks. All right, so he's he goes, he wavers here. He says yes, but no. All right, so if Jesus is not your king right now, how can you rightly say that you are saved? All right, so let's examine a little bit here. All right, so make no mistake about it. Jesus is the King of kings and Lord of lords right now, okay? And he reigns over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there is no end. His kingdom, his kingdom is not of this world okay that's very easy to understand you can't dispute it okay but let's say um, let's take a look here I want to look at Luke but you see here uh, in Matthew 12 for example but if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God then the kingdom of God has come unto you Right, let's fast forward here to I don't know somewhere in Luke I think it says essentially the same thing here if I can find it so we're preaching the Word of God and <clears throat> we're preaching the kingdom of God and the kingdom of God is coming but let's read these here and heal the sick that are there. So the kingdom of God is the kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. The kingdom of God is come nigh unto you. But if I, with the finger of God, cast out devils, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. All right, interesting, huh? So the kingdom of God is upon us right now and let's go again he said whereunto shall I liken the kingdom of God um, oh, there's uh, I want to keep going here just scrolling through these let's get here to uh, Luke 21 or I'm sorry Luke 17 Neither shall they say, Lo here, or Lo there, for behold, the kingdom of God is within you. Right? So when you are born of the Spirit of God, you have God in you. You abide in Him, and He in you, the kingdom of God is within you. All right, so let's go to, I think, Luke 20, I think it is. I want you to soak these in. Just let them soak in and consider. 21. So likewise, when you see these things come to pass, know ye that the kingdom of God is nigh at hand. Alright, in 22, until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. So the kingdom of God is coming, but the kingdom of God is already here, and it is within you, it is in you. When you are born of the Spirit of God, you are not of this world. This world is corrupt and it's going away. You are a stranger in this world. Okay.
okay just like uh, I, you know I could go into that too you use examples from the Old Testament Abraham uh, specifically he was a stranger in a strange land and I'm telling you right now I'm a stranger in a strange land and here's the thing so we live a life now worthy of the gospel worthy of entering into the kingdom and so all right so is that true do you live a life worthy the whole reason why I called upon the name of the Lord is because I know I'm not worthy the law is there to show us that we are not worthy the law is there to show us that we need a savior and the law is there to bring us to faith in Christ because he is worthy all right we are not worthy the only way that we can be worthy is because he's worthy all right so like Romans 3 is a great example um, all have sinned and, and come short of the glory of God right I thought it was in here doesn't matter um, I want to scroll down here for now but now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested being witnessed by the law and the prophets Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there should no flesh be justified in his sight. For by the law is the knowledge of sin. And then, therefore, we conclude that a man is justified by faith without the deeds of the law. And then let's go here to uh, Luke 20. Yeah, this is what I was thinking of earlier. So, you notice here, but they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead. They neither marry nor are given in marriage. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy. And the only way you can be accounted worthy is because he Jesus is worthy all right that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man that is Jesus okay the only way he's the only way your life cannot be worthy you are not worthy without him okay the only reason you're wor worthy is because he is worthy. And so we demonstrate the nature of the coming kingdom, what the kingdom will be like now with our words and our deeds, right? With our, our actions, our behaviors, our attitudes, our decisions. These um, should all demonstrate should. the ways of the kingdom. All. Our lives and our lifestyles should look like should. people um, that will be in the kingdom yeah that, it, he's right about that um, that it, we should walk what is that verse I probably already showed it yeah there we go I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called that ye might walk worthy of the Lord okay so our walk should be should demonstrate where we're headed right um, no question about it but uh, our walk does not make us worthy we're only worthy because he's worthy and we believe in him our faith is in him all right so I want to go back again to what he some said. Will say, well, Jesus is my king now. Yeah. And if Jesus is not your king now, how can you rightly say that you are saved? If he's not your king, who is your king? Come on. 